Welcome to the 60 second He-Man reviews. This time it's a plague on Primus and it's going to be another 60 plus seconds review. And you guys all know that when I do the 60 plus reviews, it's because the episode is either a bit of a mixed bag or just flat out terrible. And this time it's more in the terrible direction. So Skeletor creates fear gas, which only affects Primans, but not mutants or women. So you all know that he's going to make all the men on the show useless so that Mara and Trissy can take the fight to the mutants. You would think this is the crux of the episode, but apparently He-Man also isn't affected by the gas. It's a New Adventures episode with a lofty idea, but one that they completely shat over. Let's get on with it. Okay, let's start off with the very few positives of this episode. So Krita is of course a central character in this episode because she's a mutant and a woman, so the fear gas doesn't affect her. I also kind of like the bike race scene at the beginning, especially because Gleep is announcing it. And Gleep is super sassy again in this episode. And I suppose I could say that this episode is kind of stupidly funny in places, but I think that's giving it a little bit too much credit. Alright, before we get to the individual negatives, I think I need to discuss what I think is generally the problem with this episode, and that is the fear gas itself as a concept. Because it literally makes all the characters just whimper and cower, and I get that's the whole point of this episode, but after a while I just got really sick and tired of listening to Scott McNeil's flip shot and spin wit whimpering around. And I know especially for Spinwit, this is supposed to be a bit of a comeuppance because he acts like a complete ass at the beginning when he wins the, the hover bike race. But honestly, it's just not fun to watch. And the other problem with this episode, like I said, is the direction. There are some flat out mistakes, like, like the fact that Quake's voice comes out of Skeletor at, at the episode's beginning, but also the animation direction and the pacing of this episode is just a complete utter shit show. We have little mistakes, like Skelly nearly coming out of the monitor that, that Krita is using to talk to him, weird hair animation on Dracy and Mara, but his face not being colored correctly, the inner council just being completely absent in the honor scene, and then we have just some weird details like Gleep spraying Quake. This is supposed to be a kid show, right? Also, I do not know why He-Man is immune to the fear gas. I guess just because he isn't a Primen, but still, the whole long scenes where he's faking being affected by the gas are just painful to look at. Also, at the very beginning, Gleep actually gets a hold of Krita, and the heroes keep her detained for a little while, then he just lets her go for no apparent reason. And also, the action scenes are just complete shit. Because women are supposedly not affected by the fear gas, you would think Drissy and Mara would actually be the central protagonist of this episode, and to their credit, they do rally the women of Primus to take the Astro subs and take the fight to the mutants. But this all ends up being just a distraction for He-Man to go get some water that has healing properties so that the Galactic Guardians can be cured of the fear gas. Oh yeah, and while they're getting the water, they face off against Skelly, and then Skelly and crew just kinda bounce once they lose. But they don't show the escape or anything, again, because the director decided not to give two halves of a shit on this episode. And I think where it really shows is that at the very end, when the mutants are already running away, two mutant troopers just drop some guns so that, so that Trissy and Morrigan get a few pot shots at the mutant ships. I mean, there is no two ways about it. This episode honestly has worse animation than the He-Man mutant, and possibly even worse direction. There are some legitimately funny moments in it, and I was even considering not giving this a rating at all, but like I said, there was potential here for at least a half-decent episode. And instead, this episode now only gets Have a Grayskull out of three. It is just that fucking bad. And that's all for me for now. Until next time, I have the power, so can you.